Hello and welcome developers. My name is Shay and this is another episode of Shay Develops. Today we're going to be talking about the switch statement in Java. Now you might be asking yourself, okay, what is a switch statement? Well, a switch statement allows the use of a value, it can be either inputted by the user or just one that you give it, to select a code block to run and then run the code within the code block, right? And you can do this with multiple code blocks or it doesn't have to run any. So let's go ahead and start up and uh, take a look at an example. Let's first, I'm gonna create a few variables here. An int, a char, and a byte. And then we're going to create our switch statement syntax, which is just switch followed by the value that we're going to input into it. And we're going to change that value as we go on, so don't worry about that right now. And then there's cases. Now each case is what the switch statement is going to test the value against. So if I have a one here, and then followed by, by a colon, it's going to, and I pass it A, it will output, not spit, that's, it'll output I'm sorry about that, get that right here it'll output what's like I said, what's within the code block of the case. And you notice there's no curly braces or anything like that. And that's like I said, that's by design. So after a case, you need something else. You need a break. Now a break will bring you out of the switch statement and follow along like to the next part of your code, right? So we'll just do end, so you know whenever we're out of it. So if we were to have a case two, and we didn't have a break statement, and then we had the default statement, which, which the default statement runs if it doesn't find anything else, like if, if this, uh, the value of the variable that you pass doesn't match any of these, it'll come down and run the default statement. So usually that means you don't need a break at the default statement, but personally, I like to do so. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and see what you might expect to get. I know that we're going to get the value is one. That's right, we got the value is one and then end. So you can actually also stack cases on top of each other. So say right here at case two, I had case three and case four. And I will make this, this int three. The value is two, three, or four. And we'll go ahead and, and let's put a break. And we're going to run that. Oh. And you'll see that right here, even though the case was three and there's nothing directly underneath of it to run, it, it'll run this code block 
based off of if it catches any of these values within the switch, right? So a switch can only accept, right here in its value, can only accept uh, basically three different kinds of, of values. One's a byte, a char, a short, or an int, which is your primitive data types. Your other one is an enum type, which we haven't talked about here on this channel. So I'm not gonna go over that here in this video yet. And the other thing is a string. So if I wanted to create a string, and we'll just do uh, like bike or something like that. And we pass test, and then we <clears throat> look for car, bike, boat. Get rid of this. Now, I could also, instead of like putting the value is, I could just do the value is and then put in test right here. And that would, then I could just easily copy and use the same one every time. Let's go ahead and make sure I put in my break statement. As you can see, it'll work, but it'll give you some issues uh, later on. And I could actually merge with case car. So depending, because the output is always the same, it's just kind of a uh, slightly bad example, but because the output is always the same, I could stack these cases like that. Because regardless if it's a car, a bike, or a boat, we're going to get the same output. But I'm going to back that up. And actually, you know what? Just because of that, let's go ahead and change it back. So you guys can definitely make sure that you see the difference and not just think that it's outputting the same line over and over and over again. All right, so now we have our string test. We're patching it to our switch statement. We're gonna run it. If you look down here, the value is bike, which is exactly what we have here. So you might be thinking, well, if you watch the if else statement video that I created, you might be noticing like it's kind of similar to an if else statement. As a matter of fact, this could be rewritten as if test equals bike do something else if test equals car do something else and so forth and so on right so if we run that and we got bike and we run this see we got do something. So this is very similar to an if else statement, except for it allows you to. It, I one, it's a little bit more readable, but it allows you to input a single value, test if you know if that value is any of these other values that you, that you're looking for, and then do something quickly and something that the human can read. Right, but guys, but that is currently it as far as switch statements. They're, so they're very simple to use. They're very effective. And hopefully you'll find use for them out in your uh, coding career. 
Alright, if you guys do me a huge favor, like, comment, subscribe, because I'm just doing this to help my, to help one, myself learn, but two, prim primarily, I'm doing it to help other people learn how to code too, because I, this is, I actually really enjoy coding and I really help, and I really enjoy teaching people as well. So, if you guys could please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon so you guys can see my next video and I upload it. These videos, as soon as I get done with all the basics and stuff of Java, they're going to start getting more and more in-depth. And we're going to start building like real applications and stuff like that. Also, if you wanted to learn about HTML, I have a book that I self-published on Amazon called HTML5 Learning the Reference Guide. The link will be in the description. If it's $2.99, if you guys purchase that, it would be helping me a lot. I super appreciate it. All right, but until next time, guys, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you then.